Now, Chale, let us now take a look at the next property, which is associated, associative law, associative law for addition. Agar A and B aapki do irrational number hai, actually A, B and C agar aapki teen irrational number hai, such that A plus B plus C, then that must be equal to within bracket A plus B plus C. Now, ye jo basic cheez hai dosto, this is actually called the associative law. So, what this property is telling is that jo associative law for addition hai, it actually applies to irrational numbers. Right, so I actually take the now for this particular example. Let us take let us take a as square root 2, b as square root 3, and c as square root 5. Right, so the left hand side ki value hai. so that say states a plus a plus b plus c, right? So it's come up here, a is going to be. So a square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 5, right? So chale se likhte hai square root t, square root 2 is 1.41 for dot 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 plus now square root 3 is 1.732 dot 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 plus square root 5 is 2.236 dot 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 236 dot 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 Right. So, इसे आप अगर equate करोगे, so you will get uh, you will get this is the same 1.414 plus इन दोनों को अगर आप add करते हो, इन दोनों को add करने से you will get something like 3.968 and then अगर आप इन दोनों को add करोगे, then you will get uh, 5. Point 3, A, 2. So, the left hand side hai, agar hamari A, B and C are square root 2, square root 3 and square root 5 respectively, then A plus B plus C gives 5.3 A2 dot dot dot. Now, abhi let us take a look at the right hand side. Right hand side is actually within bracket A plus B, bracket close, then plus C, right? So, it's come up within bracket first square root 2 plus square root 3. Then, uske saath hum add karte hai square root 5. So, square root 2 square root 3 jo hai, aap agar unki value likhte ho and add karte ho. So, you will get, you will get 3.146 like this plus square root 5 aapko maalum hai it is 2.236. Now, this number, in the number, ko karab add karte ho, so you will get 5.382 like this. So, aap notice karo ki jo left hand side ki value hai, which is 5.328 something, and the jo right hand side ki value hai, that is again 5.328 something. Iska matlab hai, again yaha pe left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, we are seeing left hand side is equal to right hand side, and so we can say yes. Yes, the associative law for addition associative law for addition which basically is a plus b plus c equals a plus b plus c it is indeed valid for all irrational numbers right now actually i think we are actually left with uh, last two operations so first one is distribution of multiplication over addition so this means when you a times b plus c karte ho, so here the multiplication hai, it actually distributes over this addition Pe there are two numbers added. So, distribution of multiplication over addition ka matlab hai, this multiplication is actually getting distributed over this addition. So, this is equal to AB plus AC. So, this by itself is called the distribution of addition, distribution of multiplication over addition. So, what this property is stating is that e, this particular thing is valid for all irrational numbers. Matlab ki agar aapki A, B and C, if they, they are irrational numbers, dosto, then what it is saying is that then the distributive the distribution of multiplication over addition is actually valid for all irrational numbers so i actually again you know we will we will quickly take our example and see if it is indeed true so a is square root 2 b is square root 3 
3 and c is square root 5 right so what this time we will actually do is um, let's let's do this so the left hand side have key right so that basically says a multiplied by b plus c which in this case a is square root 2 that multiply by square root 3 plus square root 5 right so agar aap ise aap inke values lete ho likhte ho so this will look like this multiply by 1.732 1 point plus square root 5 is 2.236 2.236 right so this actually will come to something like 1.414 multiply by 3.5 968 and if you multiply it you will get something to the effect of 5.612 you will get some number now if you write right hand side abhi ho, so right hand side states it is AB plus AC so AB plus AC so a ho gai hamari square root 2 ab is square root 3 plus square root 2 times square root 5 now agar aap ise expand karte ho let's write these values multiply by square root 3 is this plus square root 2 again right and multiply by square root 5 which is 2.236 like this so if you solve you will see this jo number hai, this product will come something like plus uh, 2.449 plus and this number will come something like 3.162 और अगर आप इन दोनों को ऐड करोगे you will get something like yeah so again हम देख रहे हैं दोस्तों कि ये जो left hand side है जहां पे हम लिखते हैं a times b plus c this value is coming to 5.612 something and जो right hand side है जहां पे हम a b plus a से लिखते हैं for these irrational numbers a is equal square root 2 b equal square root 3 and c equal square root 5 so right hand side of that comes to 5.612 so again these two are equal and thus we can say that yes the distribution of multiplication over addition is actually indeed true for all irrational numbers now also let us now wrap up this presentation this uh, webisode by talking uh, by going through our last property that we wanted to talk about which is the distribution of multiplication over subtraction now distribution of multiplication of subtraction means that this is the multiplication sign is we distribute it over this subtraction so a times b minus c is equal to a b minus a c now we know this is the distribution this is what is meant by which is distribution of multiplication over subtraction hai. But what this uh, property uh, is stating is that this is actually valid for all irrational numbers. Now, chale, dosto, now let us again you know, take, an, take an example. So let's say a square root 2. Now b, let's call this time b square root 5 and c square root 3. Right? So, so our left hand side hai. So that becomes, uh, that basically says a times b minus c right so here we banjati hai a square root 2 now b in this example this is our b square root 5 minus square root 3 right 
सो अगर आप इसको एक्सपैंड करोगे दोस्तों सो इफ यू विल एक्सपैंड दिस सो आपको मिलेगी स्क्वेयर रूट टू इज दिस राइट जब आप स्क्वेयर रूट फाइव माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट थ्री करोगे यू विल गेट समथिंग लाइक समथिंग टू दिस इफेक्ट एंड इसे जब आप इनको मल्टीप्लाई करोगे यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन वन टू टाटा टा अगेन दोस्तों लाइक वी हैव मैंशन बिफोर आप देख रहे हो कि यहाँ पे विदाउट एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग द कैलकुलेशन हम डायरेक्टली वैल्यूज लिख रहे हैं एंड दिस इज अगेन फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज वी हैव एक्चुअली डन सम ऑफ दिस कैलकुलेशन अर्ड लियर दैट इज वाई इट इज ईजियर फॉर एस टू डायरेक्टली पुट द वैल्यूज लेकिन लाइक ऑलवेज हम कहते हैं वी एनकरेज यू टू डू दिस एट होम एंड एक्सपैंड इट एंड गो थ्रू इट एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू आर ऑल्सो वेरी कंफर्टेबल एंड आप भी यू आर गेटिंग द सेम रिजल्ट नाउ जो राइट हैंड साइड है दैट स्टेट्स ए बी माइनस ए सी दैट स्टेट्स ए बी माइनस ए सी चलिए ए हो गई हमारी स्क्वेयर रूट टू नाउ बी इज स्क्वेयर रूट फाइव राइट माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट टू टाइम स्क्वेयर रूट थ्री अगर आप अभी यहाँ पे वैल्यूज लिखते हो स्क्वेयर रूट टू इज दिस स्क्वेयर रूट फाइव इज दिस माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट टू टाइम्स स्क्वेयर रूट थ्री सो अगर आप इसे एक्सपैंड करते हो then then you will get something like इन दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई करने से यू विल गेट समथिंग लाइक दिस माइनस इन दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई करने से यू विल गेट समथिंग लाइक समथिंग लाइक दिस और अगर आप इस नंबर को इससे माइनस करते हो देन यू आर गोन टू गेट समथिंग लाइक दिस सो आप नोटिस करोगे जो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड थी That gives you a value like this, and your right hand side है that again gives you the same value. So इसका मतलब है we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side. That means so distribution of multiplication over subtraction है this is indeed valid for all irrational numbers. So those so this con concludes our operations on real numbers part थ्री जहाँ पे हमने आज discuss की है Uh, all operations and then commutative, associative, and distributive properties of irrational numbers. Key. So, hopefully, those that you are following us along, like we always say, if you have any question, any question, any clarifications, if you want, definitely send us in the comments page, and we will try our best to help you uh, to help answer your questions, comments.